Steve McStevington is saying, do either of you consider marriage monogamous or otherwise to be something worth carrying over even with religious reasons? Because maybe you mean even without religious reasons, because personally, I don't. Um, I think yes, because it is also a legal and civic institution at this point that is very important that can allow you legal rights to another individual that are very important. Um, that's my main priority. Um, okay. So, you know, um, marriage. Okay. So unfortunately, mar um, the legal framework is gives advantages to married couples in a way that non-married couples will be left out of right however it, it needs to be abolished like i'm glad to see that there are so many solutions coming up for non-married couples to be able to recreate all the legal advantages that married couples have right but right now we're not there yet right like um like there there are a lot of ways to make sure that like non-married couples like people should be able to create family structures without having to go through all the legal procedures that in a way that a government is defining what is acceptable and what's not acceptable and telling people who are loving love each other and want to be with each other uh, to be like oh you get these rights but you don't because you don't you didn't go through our approved process of considering you a couple you do not get these legal rights like who the fuck are you fuck off right like that shouldn't be a government's authority to be able to decide how much people have access to each other's um, finances or legal rights based on the procedures that the government has decided they have to go through to get those rights so like that is that is fucking bullshit right so marriage marriage as a government defined institution should be abolished but the concept of marriage itself could be redefined to include all forms of long-term partnerships and any legal structure that people come up with as a way to either and you, and the good thing about that is could be like more flexible right some people like when you when you get married right maybe you want um these legal rights to be shared that those legal rights not to be shared hospital visits child you know um it could be a you know you could, every single partnership could be defined like this is how we deal with separation or with our finances this is how we deal with hospital visits this is how we deal with children it, you you know like every 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 family's decision of how that structure is made might be different from another one and you don't want to have this template that the government is introducing um as a as a as a you know as a way that everybody has to confirm confirm to right so susie is like eyes <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, okay this is important you're taking attention away from what i'm saying I'm sorry okay, i so, wanted to see if my eyes work yet the answer is no so, <laughs> yeah so consider so if by marriage you mean what is being defined by the government uh, i think like right now unfortunately a lot of like a lot of people have to give in to that because some of the legal advantages that you will have that is not accessible to the people who just uh, who are partners um you know they might want they might have to submit to to what the government defines as marriage but i'm hoping that one day that gets abolished but when it comes to redefining marriage and being able to but because i think the, even if we abolish that marriage like and you find other ways to for couples to have legal access and financial access to, with, to each other um I think that word itself um, has a lot of emotional um, meaning to people that makes them, their partnership seem more significant. So I want that word to be taken away from what the government defines as marriage and anybody could call whatever long-term relationship they have um, and the way they define it and the way they, the legal structure that they give to it. I want that to be also called marriage even if it's not the government approved version of marriage because i think like that word has been used for so long and it has such an emotional weight to it that you are telling couples who are not married as if their partnership means less to the ones that are, are married right so i think people who are partners with each other 
and in a long-term relationship with each other, they should also be able to use that word for their partnership and call themselves married and call that the marriage. It's, it's of, you know, given how important, how people see a marriage as a serious relationship and a non-married couple as not as serious, which is ridiculous in my opinion, um, I think you should be able to call that marriage as well. So that's my opinion. Yeah, I'm more of a traditionalist than Armin. Um, I think marriage should be preserved and I think it's actually very healthy for society. Um, How is that different from what I said? Well, you have this deconstructivist approach that on your idea of how the system will work sounds like 10 times the paperwork. <laughs> no, it's more flexible and it's less costly if you regret it. And it's mm -hmm. just decoupling it. It's just decoupling it from the government. The importance of marriage is the importance that comes with long-term partnership. Just because I want less government influence over how that works, that doesn't mean I don't see the importance of that. I want to expand it to more partnerships to be able to be recognized as marriage. So I don't know how I'm not, not seeing the value of that partnership just because I don't think the government should be able to dictate how we do it. That doesn't mean I don't see the value. I don't understand. No, I, yeah. I get what you mean. Um, yeah. Not to go backwards. I just think this is hilarious. Jay is saying fatwas on guests to cancel. <laughs> yes. And music guy is saying Suzanne is doing HR damage control. <laughs> <laughs> okay. D, D, D is saying it's a, is this a piece of paper when it comes to marriage? Yeah, but it is a piece That's of paper, but a foreign... But unfortunately, it's a piece of paper that you might need to be able to, I don't know, give permanent residentship to your to the person that you want to have to live uh, live with you, to be able to give access to your significant other to, in I don't know, hospital. like in the hospital or to your to the children that you have um, over from your previous marriage or something like that, right? Um, there's so many different things that that piece of paper makes possible. What I'm saying that those pieces of papers that makes all of these possible should be accessible to the people that don't want to go through the marriage that the gov that a government has defined, right? That I think like they should other forms of partnerships should be able to find ways to have access to all of those facilities, and they should also be able to call what they have a marriage. Um, oh, read my earlier comment. Sorry, I didn't. Did we comment. take it out of context? Okay, we missed it. Oh, yeah. Tradition is crumbling and people don't know how to deal with it. Well, tradition, like, okay, so people who are saying tra tradition is crumbling and that they're, they're a traditionalist, there's nothing you could do about it, okay? Tradition has been crumbling for the past 10,000 years, okay? All traditions die new traditions take its place you, nobody can resist that so when you say like oh i'm just a more more of a traditionalist well time is against you <laughs> like you either have to adapt or just get flattened by it <laughs> so. i think i frankly i'm a little bit like triggered by some of the ways you talk about this issue because it just reminds me so much of my like critical theory days where ev it was abolish everything deconstruct everything and i'm like there actually are some useful things that are worth maybe not completely like either some degree of preservation or um uh e evolving which is kind of what you're i'm really asking for i think there what your argument is some degree of deconstruction with an evolution um right. and i think that I mean, people people say that I just, about I, it just reminds me of attitudes of like marriage is only patriarchal enslavement of a woman, and I'm like, we've gone okay in North America, like our legal system has gone way beyond that. We don't have to act like that all the goddamn time. <laughs> so it kind of right. brings up that for me. So there's two there's two extremes, okay? There's one extreme that thinks that things should be the way they are because they're working, okay? And that's what they said about slavery, okay? So people are like, yeah, we just, you know. Um, but the other extreme of it, which is I'm not doing, but you keep getting triggered because you feel like I'm doing because of your bad experience with the people, the leftists that you were associated with, is that they think like 
they they don't see that some things are part of nature and they're not part of tradition, right? I don't think I'm doing that, okay? Because I'm pretty sure marriage was not part of nature, <laughs> okay? Part, Long-term partnerships were is part of human biology, and we need that. And I'm not doing an appeal to nature fallacy, okay? When I say it's part of nature, so that means we can't get rid of it. I'm not just saying, I'm not saying because it's natural, it's good, okay? And it just means that you can't just erase it, okay? I'm not saying it's superior because it's natural. I'm just saying it's unerased. It's part of our psyche. We want humans, human animals, okay? They, they need long-term couples, okay? That's what they like. That's what they want. You can't get rid of that. That is part of their nature. That's something that we can't erase. That is not part of patriarchy. That's not part of like tradition. Okay. So the leftists will think you can get rid of that. They, they're wrong. We can't get rid of that. I'm not going that <laughs> extreme, but I'm pretty sure the concept of a legal marriage is not hacked into our DNA anywhere. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And that is a societal construct that we can change and play around with based on what, based on what. It, how the structure of society is progressing and what could feed our needs the best way. Okay. That is something that is changeable. Okay. So. The legal rights are all I care about really. <laughs> um, Cause they do there. Uh, people just argue like there's, that there's no utility to a marriage. I'm like, there's a huge utility to a marriage. Are you kidding me? Um, and also I think it's socially good, but anyways, Alex Kappa, if I remember, there's a lot of umlauts in this name. Um, <laughs> saying today is my girlfriend's and I's 15th anniversary. Give us a shout out. Hey, congratulations to you guys for being together for 15 years. That's a, that's a big one. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Jay's saying the first time she makes you a sandwich, she's your wife. <laughs> hey, let's pick that a rule. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 